Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, it's raining, it's feeling like fall, and I am loving every minute of it. Oh, I'm ready, man. I got the plaid out, I'm ready to get my flannel collection going, my camos are getting cleaned right now. And that also means we are in the thick of fall wedding we season, so whether you're planning or you're waiting for your wedding in the next couple of weeks, or you're looking ahead to fall 2020, we hope you're hanging out with us and getting some great information from all of our weekly chat. So thank you for hanging out with us on the Mike Staff Facebook page. I'm Lauren, the social media manager. We got Chris back, director of photography, and we are going to be talking about unplugged wedding ceremonies. Yes, yes. My the, favorite thing in the world is a photographer. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a great perspective that we're going to get about this conversation. And you guys actually voted for it on our Instagram page, just overwhelmingly. Yeah. This was a topic of discussion that you wanted to hear more about. So we've got up on um, the post a whole article about how to pull off having an unplugged ceremony. So click that in case you can't watch our entire conversation. <laughs> we also just have other links up there um, to schedule a call with some of our sales team and to check out our Instagram page for some more photography inspiration but this is a hot topic right it now is. it is i was at a wedding this weekend where the pastor got on the microphone mm -hmm. and said please do not take any photos during the ceremony the couple has hired professional photographers they will be taking the photos thank you and so nobody was going like this as the bride was going down the aisle yeah it's you know, it's a big important thing. Um, it is so huge. You see it talked about here and mm -hmm, there, and mm -hmm. you're starting to see it more at weddings. Right. And I get this question from clients all the time about like, hey, listen, we've heard about unplugged weddings, but how do we do it? Mm -hmm. People feel awkward about doing it. They right. feel like they're insulting their guests. Right. They feel like they're um, going to make it like weird about people if like, you know, Aunt Sue's all of a sudden is like, hey, look, I got, you know, And how shot. do you tell everybody to put right. down their phone? We live in a, our phones are always, always in our hands. Hey, mine right mine here, all the my time. pocket here. And we've got Natalie from our marketing team behind the scenes. Actually, Natalie, when you get a second, can you flash up um, the picture of, this went viral. You probably saw this on sure. Facebook like a couple of weeks ago. This was a, it, it, it wasn't even a local wedding. Who knows where it was, yeah. but this was... A, a photo that went made it all over the internet because that person went out and put it, the phone in the aisle and blocked the shot. Yeah, you know, it's something like this is the one instance that happened to go viral. Yes. Like as a photographer for as many years as I've been doing this, I've, I've witnessed this. Mm -hmm. I've been there in person. I've right. had to run up and try to shoo someone back into the pew because wow. it's not that I care that they're getting a photo. And this is the big misconception that has kind of made this an awkward conversation sometimes. There is this misconception that your photographers um, have made it so that they don't want someone else to get the photo. Mm -hmm. That's not the case at all. Sure. As a professional, I know that I'm gonna get a professional level photo. Right. So the fear of like Aunt Sue getting a better photo than me on her iPhone just doesn't exist. Right, of course, but it's getting in the way and it's hindering It's getting in the photos. way of the photo. It's it may blocking prevent, that aisle. It may prevent you from getting that perfect shot. It is, yeah. And really, what is your guest going to do with that shot of you walking down the aisle? Right, <laughs> you know? right. they're going to they're gonna Snapchat it to you later when right. reality is you paid thousands of dollars for professional photo and video to be there. Right. And now you have this in front of you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no, don't do it. So you know, it, it's horrible. Let's talk about your perspective, the photographer's yeah. perspective, um, and how much of an issue it is. Because maybe this isn't even a thing that you've thought about, unplugged ceremony, whatever. People aren't gonna get in the way. But let's talk about the reality and some of the real life issues and problems that it can cause if people do have their cell phones out. Sure, so some of the issues come into play. Um, I need you to put picture the scene, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. So we'll start with a church wedding, okay? okay. So church wedding. It's quiet. You just all you hear is the audio bed as the mm -hmm. bride's about to come down the aisle. Sure. Okay. Now, as a photographer, my goal is to get two things. I want to try and get the groom's reaction real quick, and I want to get her. Yep. Okay. So she's about to come down. I, she's probably you know anywhere from thirty to a hundred feet away from me. Right. I can't yell to her. I can't yell to her to slow down and wait for this person to get back. I also it's it would be so rude for me to be like, excuse me, miss. 
get back in the pew. Like, and then it'd be so weird, right? And have you seen people actually like? I have had people out? literally step into the aisle with not even just a phone, but an iPad. Wow. That's so impressive. now we have this big piece, and they're like this in the aisle blocking it. And you can't get. And that I can't shot. shoot. And I, what I do is, you know, I'll shoot because I need the client to later see like. This is why we couldn't get sure. it because this person was here. Yeah. Um, I have had it where I will start running down the aisle to push them in or to go around them to shoot. Oh. Again, very awkward, very distracting to everyone else. But my goal is I was hired to get that big, beautiful shot right. of her coming down the aisle. Um, so it's really distracting. It's very intrusive. It's actually can be very rude of a guest to do. Right. Um, also, the bigger point on this is that you're right. What are they going to do with that photo? <laughs> no. Like, what is what yeah, is that iPhone shot going to do? Yeah, you can throw it on your Instagram do? stories. Right, but then exactly. You, you may have potentially ruined um, a couple's, like, just beautiful shot exactly. for the videographer and the photographer right. um, for you to post something to social media. And, and you know what? The couple may not even want you posting pictures. Correct. Before they get a chance to, to screen see it, them. To screen it and see it, Right. Also, the quite you know, there's this old joke you'll always hear, like, "Oh, they can Photoshop it." No, no I can't. You know what, Natalie? Throw that same picture back up again. So let's give an example of this. <laughs> How can you Photoshop? I can't that? Photoshop that because one, I don't have another shot of her within the dress in that location to replace those right. arms with, to replace that phone with. Um, it's and this is this is actually minor. What you're seeing right here is a split second. We get people all the time that will literally step into the aisle. Uh, it happens a lot at outdoor weddings. Um, also, the average aisle is pretty narrow. Mm -hmm. The average aisle is designed right. to be wide enough for two people to walk sure. down. So when one person is now taking up half the aisle, it's it's blocking everyone's yeah. view. Also, it's blocking the groom's view. As a photographer, I always try to place it so that I'm standing so the groom can always see past me. Okay. I don't want to block his shot. I also don't want them blocking his shot. Okay. So now we've kind of talked about the risks and, 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 the, and the, the, miss. the problems that come along with people taking pictures. Now there may not be, uh, you may not be worried about your guests leaning into the mm -hmm. aisle, but you know, if people have their cell phones out, like you could be worrying about ringing or texting. Sure. It's just like a big kind of tech, technical mess. Just like kind of put your phones away for the ceremony, exactly. right? Even if they, they don't ruin your pictures. I, I just had a wedding a couple months ago um, and it was at a church mm -hmm. and the pastor, before anyone came down the aisle, before anything started, mm -hmm. he got up there and he gave an announcement. I thought it was really great. And he had talked about, and I'm, I'm not going to get it word for word, but he had talked about how the clients wanted you to be here. The bride and groom wanted you to be here as part of their day. Mm -hmm. They want you to experience their day with them. And experience their day with them is about being present in the moment. Mm -hmm. You're not present in the moment when you're on Instagram or Snapchat sure. as that beautiful moment's happening. Right. You're taking it so you can share with others that aren't there, but that's what they hired us for. Exactly. And you want to be present for the unity of them becoming exactly. husband and wife. That's exactly. a, a special once-in-a-lifetime moment. Yeah. Okay, so now you're thinking, wow. I need an unplugged ceremony. Yes, you, <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> um, if that's something you decide, now the question is, how do we tell everybody? Yeah. You obviously heard just one option is having somebody make an announcement, and that's what happened at the wedding I was at on over the weekend. There were no signs. There wasn't anything on the invitation mm -hmm. or on their wedding website. It was simply the pastor, and this was just an out. This was an outdoor wedding at Freedom Hill, actually. Sure. Um, their pastor that they had selected just came on the mic and said, no phones, very polite, and I just kind of looked around thinking someone's going to Yeah, someone's going to do phone. it, sure. I didn't see any. No That's phones. Awesome. So everybody listened and respected the, the couple's wishes. So what are some other ways that people can kind of send that message? Yeah, so we've seen it many ways. Um, the announcement, I think, is great. Mm -hmm. Some people have told me they feel like that's a little too forward. Sure. To open the ceremony that yeah, way. Yeah, it may, yeah. And it just, it's your, it's a it's matter of. romantic. Well, maybe. Yeah. And I think it's also about your, whoever's presiding and how they do it. Sure. Their um, delivery you know, is Their key. delivery is huge. Like I said, I've seen it done very eloquently. It, mm -hmm. look, it looks very nice. It right. sounds great. Um, and it's, again, about connecting. They don't just get up there and say, no cell phones, please. Right. You know, that's right. different. Right. Um, I've seen the big announcement board signs. Okay. okay we have a sample Natalie's going to put up on the screen yeah, in a minute. Yeah, um, So this is a great example. 
It's a beautiful sign. It's on a nice wood uh, A-frame stand. It's right at the entry to the ceremony location. You can see all the chairs mm -hmm. in the background. Um, it even has, you know, love the bride and groom at the bottom of it. Like, I think that's perfect. It's a great way that everyone's going to walk by. Now, some people are going to step past and not know. Right. The good news is there's normally enough people seeing it that they're able to say to someone else, oh, hey, they had an unplugged ceremony. Sure. Make sure you, you, right. know, you don't it get gets, the phone out. Right. It gets everyone talking. And so, we got Marty Wenzel, one of our um, DJs. DJ extraordinaires, yep. who said the officiant at the last wedding mentioned the bride and groom would love all of you to be in the moment. Exactly. So please put away your phones and tablets. And if you're carrying a tablet... Do a wedding? We got to talk about other things then. Oh, God. <laughs> Leave it at home. But you also get, I mean, we also live in a day and age now where I'm not the only one with a good camera there. True. You Wait, know? I just got a new iPhone. That's, I like was I said, taking real some really good pictures. <laughs> I could probably get a pretty darn good portrait mode photo you absolutely of that could. ride. You absolutely could, but no doubt. it's not worth. But it's not worth the intrusion. Hindering, yeah. yes, the I have, uh, photos. I've also seen clients do it on the invitation. Just a small okay. card with the invitation, not like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. not the actual Ford invitation, but kind like like the RSVP card. Yeah, kind of like a registry card exactly. or like where you're giving. Yeah, yeah. Because I've That's seen a it as a idea. footer on the reg on the uh, RSVP card. Because the beauty of that is then, if you're checking your name, you're checking to attend, what you want for dinner, you're gonna read that you're footer. See it. So for anyone to later say, "Oh, I didn't see it," well. Sure you did. Okay, that's a great idea. I like that on the RSVP card. And then it's not, you know, it's not in the memory book, right? right. No one's keeping the RSVP card exactly. later. Exactly. Right? That's so that's true. a great option. Um, and I've had other people just put it on their actual wedding page. Mm -hmm. You know, they talk about it with friends and family. They kind of just spread yeah. the word. Yep. Um, I've seen Facebook posts from brides beforehand. Right. Like, I mean, so excited. Here's a heads up for our wedding. Uh, normally, if you do these little tiny details, they go a long way. And really, have you seen any trends where there's any other part of the wedding day where people don't want cell phones? I feel like once you're at the reception, it's kind of fair game. Oh, I think the whole day is fair game, except for the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really do. I think that that's the only place that we can't redo that photo, right? right. Okay, the ceremony is that one spot we can't redo it. Um, it's the same thing for the first kiss, actually, though. Okay. Um, you see it very commonly, like we all kind of anticipate more. The first kiss is coming, mm -hmm. and everyone's getting excited and yeah. jittery. And all of a sudden, here comes Grandma, and she's got her phone, and she wants it. She's in our way, also. Right. <laughs> right. So that's the other f side of that coin. Okay, it's coming down the aisle in either direction, really. Mm -hmm. um, now the first kiss, there's a lot going on. It's chaotic. It's busy. It's less of an issue. Sure. But we do see it in that place also. Anything after that. I am the one that when it's family formal time and someone says, oh, I want to go with my phone, I'm like, get in here, come next right, to me. Right. No, no, they're going to look at me, come right next to me, and I'll bring them right side by side cool. so they can get that same shot. Very they're cool. not going to have the lighting, and that's fine, but they're able to get that same image. Right. Uh, you see it during dancing. Um, the we first dance? Yeah, first Is that dance. a problem? Never, no. never. No. Okay. We're moving around, we're adjusting. Sure. The one thing I always ask people is like, hey, we're going to shoot this direction, don't have your iPad up in the air as the backdrop, right? Um, and you'll see that. Do Don't people have... really bring iPads I, to I see it. It's a grandma grandpa thing, I think. Because, really? Yeah, well, it's a giant screen, oh. so they can, like, see it easily. But, uh, yeah, I see it more and more. Well, I don't know how they carry grandma them. and grandpa are pretty cool because they have iPads. <laughs> but... And Natalie did throw up some images in the comments or some other signs and ways to announce kind of peacefully <laughs> to, your, yeah. to your guests um, of ways to have... That you're that you want to have an unplugged ceremony. The wedding I was at over the weekend, they had um, a table set up with like a scrapbook, sure, and one of those Instapix cameras. Oh yeah. So they were encouraging people there to take pictures That's of the awesome. reception and then stick them in the sticky in the scrapbook. So you know, it's not like your whole wedding has to have, have this unplugged vibe. Right. It's just for that moment where you're becoming husband and wife, for for more reasons than just photos but it's just respect for it's for respect that moment. for the moment yeah. right that's the biggest part it's being part of the moment yeah um and it's being present mm -hmm. um it's the same thing during the ceremony during the ceremony so people pop it up with their phones left and right and everything else and it doesn't affect the photos we have no issue with sure. it it's no problem it's not going to hinder anything but if you're doing that are you really present in the wedding mm -hmm. are you really there or are you just like snapchat to your friends about right. it you know right. So that's a big difference. Something to think about. Always something I mean, to consider. And even if your invitations are out, your website is 
up and people have looked at it already and your wedding is a week away. I mean, this is something and you want to make the decision now to do that. That's where maybe just a simple announcement. Exactly. Um, you can discuss with your pastor or the father or whoever's presiding over your yep. wedding um, to make that simple announcement, even if it's last minute. It doesn't necessarily have to be a decision that you made, you know, when you booked your venue. Absolutely. So. It could be a game time moment. Yeah, thing. absolutely. Yeah. Well, cool. We hope this was, um, you know, a productive conversation for you. It gave you some things to think about because you don't want to miss those photos you don't want cell phones in the air right. and you want people to see you hear your vows yes. i mean look at the decor and just like soak it all in yeah not through it's like a concert yeah look when i go see taylor swift <laughs> i hold up my phone and i record all of my favorite songs <laughs> and then it's like but then i didn't see it right. i watched it through some now granted i had an iphone 6 then but also <laughs> instead of, you're getting good seats and you're right there right and instead and of I'm, seeing her right I'm there you're seeing it on a three inch screen. screen right I'm looking at it through the screen i might as well just wait for the dvd to come yeah. out right so it's the same thing for a ceremony. Don't live through it through your phone screen. Enjoy it. And I think that's a big thing in life. You yeah. know, I, people always ask me all the time. My, my dad's a big one. He'll always say, why don't you take all these pictures of your kid running around? You have a five-year-old. Why aren't you, why aren't you doing that? I said, you know what? I shoot for a living. I take right. pictures for a living. When I'm with my son and I'm with my wife and my family, I just want to enjoy the moment. Sure. Yep. I don't want to bring a camera out. And so coming times, from someone who's documenting yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Yep, but a lot of times I just want to be present in the moment and just enjoy it. So don't look. If you see a sign, if you see something on an invitation where it says unplugged, we don't want you taking pictures, it's not a negative. They nope. want you to be present in the moment and cherish the moment like, like they do. Yeah, so if just, anything, it's a positive. Yeah. Help sure. them out and kind of adhere to what they're looking for for their day. Cool. Well, we've got more information up in the post. Check out the blog. Um, if you couldn't hang out with us, this is going to be up on YouTube, yep. and we're going to put this video in the blog. Um, and next week, I got to say, our um, venue spotlight... It did, took off. Was, a lot of people really yeah. enjoyed hanging out with Kurt, um, learning about... The different venues and we profiled the inn at st john's last week yep. we had a, a bunch of brides asking some questions yeah. so you guys wanted to see more venue love so we're going to be talking about cherry creek i love week. cherry creek it'll be a great conversation yeah. i know kurt's excited about it too yeah we're going to the east side this time and uh, we'll show you pictures we'll introduce you to their team so yeah we've got great things coming up tips about week. the grounds there and ideas yeah and else. absolutely and just how important it is to Make sure that your photographer and your videographer know your venue. If they've never worked at Cherry Creek, that's a red flag. Or anywhere, <laughs> for that matter. And guys, if there's additional topics you want to see in coming uh, Facebook Lives, let us know. You know, yep. Give us a heads up. Say, hey, I'm curious about this, or I'm curious about that, yep. or my bridesmaids and I were talking about this. Help me out. Absolutely. We'll make a topic for you guys. We can absolutely do that. So check our Instagram stories. Natalie's always posting polls for... Topics that you guys might want to hear, and uh, we'll check back with you next week. Have a great week, guys.